everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm testing out two different sealers for jasmineite one being an acrylic sealer that is designed specifically for jasmineite or acrylic resin if you will and the other being Krylon matte finish. You might want to seal your projects for a number of reasons. If you add paint or you add vinyl, like I did to my pieces, then sealing is a great way to preserve your art for longer periods of time. So I'm going to start by placing a piece of newspaper on my work surface, which you'll see me do in a little bit. I don't want to get chemicals all over my table. Um, and I'll also be going over the tools that I use. So firstly, I got my acrylic sealer from Bijou Accessories. And I bought my Krylon spray from Take A Lot. You can also get Krylon sealants at Art Savings Club. Uh, they do come with a hefty price though. It's about 250 Rand to 350 Rand, depending on which Krylon spray that you get. You know, when I when I bought the, the sealants, I really did expect to get value for my money. And I think I definitely did get that. So I decided I wanted to apply the acrylic sealer with a paintbrush. And I also wanted to test out a foam brush just to see if it would make a difference in the application. So I'll be using Krylon matte finish for my coaster with the vinyl on, and I'll be using the acrylic sealer on the vinyl, I mean, sorry, on the coaster that doesn't have any vinyl on it. So I'll pour some acrylic sealer in a cup. If you have plastic cups available, use those rather. I know I'm a bad teacher. Don't use your glasses that you drink out of. I just didn't have plastic cups and I wasn't about to drive all the way to the shop just for a plastic cup. So if you have uh, plastic cups or just paper cups, rather use those. I'll then just dip my uh, brush in. You don't really need a lot of sealant on your brush. A little goes a really, really long way. If you are going to use a paint brush, I don't recommend using the one that I used. Instead, a filbert, a filbert brush would probably work best. I think that's what they call them. It's sort of like a... Uh, flat brush that has a broader uh, paint stroke. So I got all my foam brushes and paint brushes at PNA. Okay, so I'll just make sure that I cover everything well with my brush and I'll also get the sides. I didn't worry about doing the back of my pieces because I really am just testing these sealers out. So I wasn't too worried about the back. Okay, so now I'm going to try the foam brush out. Again, this was really difficult because of the shape of the coaster. So I kind of just try to make it work. Um, but I definitely wanted to see uh, the results of using different brushes. So we'll see how that turns out in the end. Okay, so I went outside for this next part. If you're going to be using spray paint or spray sealers or anything like that, you want to work in a well-ventilated area. I did shake up this sealer for about a minute. You can go for about two minutes. Just make sure that it's uh, really well shaken. And all I'm going to do now is just uh, put on a few coats. Well, not a few coats. I'm just going to put on a coat of the Krylon matte finish. So I try to hold the can quite far away from the actual uh, art piece you don't uh, you don't want to get too close it's going to leave blotches and splatters and things like that and that's not what we're looking for so just try to hold your can um, quite far away from your art piece and then i just went over this a few times and then i left that to dry for about 15 minutes and i also let the acrylic sealer um, on the other coasters dry for 15 minutes as well so you can see uh, there are a few brush strokes. Um, you'll see in a few seconds. Uh, there are a few brush strokes, and I really don't like brush strokes in my art. I feel like it just looks very unprofessional. So this one had the foam brush. I used the foam brush on this particular coaster, and it's left like a whole bunch of bubbles and stuff. It just looks really disgusting. I feel like I feel like I ruined my art piece. Um, but it's okay because I actually wanted to just test it out and see how it works. If you've got any suggestions or if you guys have put acrylic sealer on before please do leave your um techniques in the comments section for others to see and i also if you could give me any tips that would be great and it's funny enough the brush the paintbrush didn't leave 
too many bad strokes but it's still left strokes on the surface and doesn't look nice if you're going to be selling it it's definitely not ideal to sell something like that so um yeah. if you have any tips please do leave them in the comment section below i then went in for additional coats on these coasters pretty much doing the exact same thing i did for the first coat and then i let that all dry for about 30 minutes before handling it So these are the finished results of the sealants. The acrylic sealer gave off a very glossy shine, which personally I don't really like. So it's up to personal preference and there's a ton of brush strokes. But the Krylon matte finish exceeded my expectations. Honestly, this was the better one for me. There's no brush strokes. The vinyl is seal sealed on very well. You'd need to forcefully remove the vinyl. It won't just come off. And it also gave the jasmineite a super matte finish, which I really love. So I definitely feel like I got value for my money. It's definitely worth the 300 Rand. So then I wanted to do a little water test to see how durable these sealants are under wet conditions. Um, if you sell this to someone or someone puts it in their house, maybe they put it on their patio. It can always rain and get wet. And I thought it would be a great idea to just kind of test that out and see how well that they hold up. And both of the sealants actually did really well. There was no residue or any weird stuff that happened. So I was really, really pleased with the results. So over here, I'm just wiping it with a paper towel and then I'm just going to clean up the excess water. And then I'm going to just show you a close up and show you that it's really uh, held up pretty well. And I'm quite pleased with the results. So if you use any one of these sealants, they will be um, pretty good under wet conditions. And that is pretty much it for this video. I definitely think that Krylon was the better sealant. Thank you so much for watching i hope that you guys found it helpful i'll see you in the next craft video